Okay, this is what I like to call the second chorus of the song. It occurs just after the bridge. So the form of this song so far, we've had kind of a mellow chorus and then a bridge that picks up the song, and now we're going to have a faster chorus that goes along with the um, song as it picks up before we go into the solo. Now basically we're going to use the same idea we saw earlier for this part of the song. Um, with our muted idea. Except for this time, instead of going from E minor to D back and forth, we're going to follow the verse pattern. We're going to go E minor with our series of mutes, D, D, series of mutes, A, A minor, no mutes, E minor, no mutes, D. These quick D suspended four there before we go back to the series of mutes again. Notice how I go to A this time, strong. So we're using the same um, pattern that we use in the verse, except we're throwing in some mutes and then we're following it up with the A minor, E minor, D chord strummed. Um, so let's go ahead and play that along with the music so you can get a clearer idea of what I'm talking about. And by the way, the strum is just our down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. And you can add, put some accents in it here and there to move it along a little more. He does that in the recording. But uh, they're very random, so it's hard to just say, well, you put one here, you put one there. I don't think he ever plays it the same way twice. So we'll just go with the down, down, up, down, up, down, up strum for practical purposes of learning the song. Um, the last chorus of the song is really similar to that, so when you get to the last chorus, just think about what we learned on the second chorus and you should be okay. So let's move along now and um, check out the solo.